few weeks ago, I published a video on my channel showcasing how I plugged my Elgato Stream Deck to Substance 3D Designer, and it worked pretty well, honestly. So obviously, I got a lot of feedback from the community asking me uh, about my experience with it and also how to do it. So in this video, that's exactly what we are going to do, a step-by-step -step tutorial showcasing you how to plug your Elgato Stream Deck to Substance 3D Designer. So let's do it now. Before to start, what is a Stream Deck? This is a device made by the company called Elgato, and it's composed of multiple small LCD keys that you can customize and link to different shortcuts, for example, but also some actions like shutting down a light or changing the volume. So this is mostly used for streaming, but you can use it also for your application, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. For this tutorial, what you are going to need is obviously Substance 3D Designer and the Stream Deck software that comes when you install for the first time uh, your Stream Deck. In my case, I have the Stream Deck XL and this is the mirror of my screen. So what you are seeing uh, here, I'm seeing it also in my uh, physical Stream Deck on my left. As you can see, this is my default profile. So that's what I do to launch Substance. These are shortcuts to Substance 3D Designer shortcut. This is to launch a music application that I'm using for my streams, and this is to control the sound, etc. And I have this Substance 3D Designer uh, profile that I made, which is automatically launched when I am launching Substance 3D Designer. As you see, this is the node I have mapped, and that's what we are going to do. I'm not going to do all of them. You will have to repeat the process, but you get the idea. I also have on the bottom left uh, shortcuts to the function that I did, which uh, I can manually uh, switch to when I need to reach these nodes when I am in a function graph. This is not an automatic stream deck, has no way to know that you are either in a function graph or a regular graph, but it can know when you are in Substance 3D Designer. So anyway, this profile is automatically loaded. So first thing we are going to do is into Substance 3D Designer. So as you may or may not know, you have the ability to create shortcuts for the atomic nodes, the default nodes. So if you go to Edit, Preference, you go to Shortcut, and you see that you have all the Substance Composite Graph, the atomic nodes here. And I set up a bunch of shortcuts for the one I'm using the most. And here, with this drop-down menu, you can go to Substance Function Graph and do the same thing. The good thing is you can reuse uh, the same letter uh, when you're in Function Graph, as you cannot be at the same time, working at the same time in the Function Graph, and a composite graph, it will adapt. So that's a good thing. What you will do right now, once it's set up, you leave this open and as reference because well, you are going to need it later on. Now, what we're going to do is, you see here that we will need some icons and it's better to have the official ones. And luckily, in Windows, there is a folder where you have all Icon. So thanks Celine Damron who reminds me the link and I'm going to try to find the links for Mac and Linux as well if any. Uh, if I have them I will put them in, uh, in the comments. I classify this by date so as they may have been created at the same time it's a better way to, to find them. So here you see that at the beginning I have like some, let me be sure that it's by date, no it wasn't, so no it's classified by date. What it allows me to do is to get all the function, almost all the function graph node at the same place and also the atomic node I think are totally at the bottom here. So I can look at what I want. So I'm going to make it for two or three nodes just to show you how I did. The first thing that I did, I choose the one I really want, these ones. And instead of making a reference to this folder because I don't have the control on it, I, there may be have some change with an update. I just copy pasted them in another folder in my documents here. I create an Elgato Icons Designer folder and I have them here. I may do the same for Painter if I can or stuff like this. But so far, I just make a copy here of these icons. Then. Now, once I have that, I can go into 
the string data, string text center. So it's here. And in my case, I already created the Substance 3D Designer one, but for this tutorial, I will create a new one. So it's in French. I wasn't able to change the language, but this is new profile. So this way you will learn a few French words. And you have a blank space here. So first thing I will do is um, to go on the right and here you have all the actions you can do. Sometimes it's a shortcut, but it can also be linked to a specific application. Uh, but what I'm going to do is to use the system one system here and recursive means shortcut. So look at this, look for this icon and you just drag and drop wherever you want. So I'm going to put one here. You can put a few of them, like I'm going to put three like this. And I'm going to try to replicate, for example, like the gradient map, the blend, uh, blend uh, the gradient map node, the blend node, and maybe like the text text node. To do this, I used it as a reference. So gra gradient is G, so I can say gradient here. I don't put the full name because uh, you know the the small LCD screen is, is small for the H key, so I want to make sure it's not cut. So, but I make something. Um, you can choose whatever you want as long as it makes sense for you. And here you can affect the key. So I just click once and I press G, G and that's it. Then it will ask me here, okay, what do you want to do? I want to define based on the uh, folder. So it's already in the right one because I did it last time. And I'm going to look at the gradient one. This is this one. And now I have the correct icon. Let's do it here. Same process. We say blend. So here I can write blend and it will be B. And once again, I repeat the process. Uh, let's look, uh, blend is look like this. Uh, okay. It's here, right? Yes. Okay, I made two and the last one we said text. So T and I write text. And we make it beautiful like this. Text is just a T, so it should be easy to find. And lost it with oh, this one, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So you have to repeat this, of course, for all of your, the shortcuts you want to create. And I'm going to show you also how to do this. Um, here I made like this, uh, this small function. So we can organize a bit this, uh, going back to profile one. In your case, you would name it, you can rename it like uh, in a specified profile, we'll do it at the end. But in the stream deck, you can create, no, not the stream deck, let me share it with the control center. I think control center, no, rejection, no. navigation, okay. So here you can do create shortcut. I'm just doing it here. And here, when you click on, uh, double click on it, it will do as if you make a click on, uh, on the stream deck and you can add more. So in my case, I'm going to go to the substance function graph and continue. So just to get the reference and then we will just create one. So here, let's go to system shortcuts, get new one. And let's say I want to create like the Boolean, no, maybe the integer because it's I. So in integer, letter I. And um, once I've done that, I will find the image, which is for integer, okay, in, in yellow. This one, watch out, is this one because this one is to from uh, to cast to an integer. Okay, so now I have my two. I can go back here with this, and that's it. What you would do then next is just to make sure that you go to modify profile and you give him a name. Uh, so I can right click, rename, and say DS. 
I cannot put in an application in my case because if I do this, there will be conflict with this one. But you get the idea right now when I'm uh, when I launch this one, you see that you can define the application. So this I did it here. I said okay, each time I'm going to Substance 3D Designer, uh, it will switch to the right one. Not that when once uh, while uh, Stream Deck uh, software is open, it doesn't work just because to let you work here. If not, if I click here, it will change everything. So, but if I do this right now, I'm just closing that and that, and I can use my Stream Deck to to control the way I want. So, if I want to know the text node, I just press T. Uh, we set the blend node B, and if I want to go and expose, for example, a parameter here and um, let's expose um, hmm, this. Okay. I will say new, new function. And now I can specify my go into the folder and add a float, add a, an integer, etc. And that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it and that you are going to be able to use your Stream Deck with Substance 3D Designer in the future. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, etc. And we see each other in the next video. Bye bye.